it's that it's that need to get to the crux of the problem to understand what a user is struggling with merging a whole lot together and and delivering on the bottom line for the business imagine walking into a house for the first time and even though you've never ever been there you know exactly where to go to get to the kitchen you know which light switch is going to activate which light and best of all you know exactly where to find the coffee cups it feels like the place has been designed around you that's what UX does so next time you visit a website for the first time or you download an app and everything just feels really intuitive and you have no idea it's almost creepy why that's because a UX designer has been there hey guys my name is Justin and today I want to explain to you the difference between a UX designer, a graphic designer and a user interface designer. So number one, how does a user experience designer approach a problem and how is it different from a graphic designer or a UI designer? In a nutshell, a graphic designer and a user interface designer typically focuses on visual details and executing things like typography color palette, maybe iconography, that sort of thing. A UX designer is less about the execution and more about the discovery. A UX designer is involved pretty early on in a project typically and they'll, they'll talk to stakeholders in the business and they'll identify business needs, they'll talk to, to users, they'll conduct customer interviews, they might even build up a couple prototypes and then run them past users to get some, some feedback and see if their solution is hitting the mark. That's what a UX designer does. So graphic and UI designers, they're typically involved sort of towards the end. A UX designer upfront, discovering all of the needs from users in the business and even then being involved right until the end and testing the final product. And that leads nicely into the next point, which is number two, what are the types of activities that a UX designer is typically involved in? And I touched on some of these before. They might be gathering business requirements from stakeholders, or maybe they'd be mocking up prototypes or imitations of, of a next version of a product that, that, that the business wants to get out there. And then they might be taking feedback from actual real life customers that they've gone out into the field and, and talked to an interview, maybe had coffee with, and, and really understand if that prototype or that imitation of the product is solving any real world problems. So those are the types of activities that a UX designer would typically be involved in. And those are just a few. UX designers might be involved in card sorting, they might do competitor analysis, they might be conducting a heuristic review to make sure that the website is following best practice and it's really easy and simple to use. But ultimately, UX designers tend to have a pretty broad skill set and they, they can go about tackling a problem in any number of ways. There's definitely no set formula, but ultimately it's all about that same mindset. And that mindset is about going into a problem, identifying the customer need, bringing in the business needs, making sure that the two meet in the middle, because ultimately at the end of the day, as passionate as you are about typography or prototyping or colors or iconography, at the end of the day, design is still about the bottom line and what profits you can bring back for the business to keep them going. And that leads nicely into the next point, which is number three, how much do UX designers actually get paid? UX designers get paid fairly well. They have really great work-life balance and most UX designers will start out on around about $80,000 a year. When you compare that with the graphic designer, graphic designers might earn around about $50,000 a year and a UI designer probably around about $70,000 a year. Now all of those figures will vary depending on what industry you're working in or how many years experience you have. Once you've got five years experience as a UX designer, you might earn $120,000 a year. But it really does vary from industry to industry. Get into the financial industry, you could make a whole lot of money. Get into a, a not-for-profit, you might feel good in your heart, but maybe you make a little bit less money. Also, the choice of industry that you end up going into will largely depend on your background. And that leads also nicely into point number four, which is what experience do you need to get into a UX design role? And there's definitely no clear-cut answer for that. Because in the years that I've worked as a UX designer, I've worked with people from all walks of life, from interior design, 
to psychology to human computer interactions the best was I met someone who had actually been a secretary in a shipping business before she became a senior UX designer and ultimately she is now the head of UX at one of the biggest companies out there so anything really is possible I would say the basic entry-level requirements are number one a keen interest for problem-solving number two some sort of digital know-how because ultimately the world's going digital but back onto the skills a lot of the work that's done by UX designers is less about the visual and the creative and really more about the strategic problem solving. So some of the skills that are going to help you in that area are research skills and, and that plays a lot into soft skills, so ability to listen, humility, being able to empathize with users, really being able to get to the heart of their problems and then solve those problems through the digital interfaces that you then design for your end clients. And if we're looking at the types of tools that different designers use and the experience that you might need, for graphic designers, typically Photoshop, Illustrator, and Corel Draw, Corel Draw seem to be the tools of the trade at the moment. When it comes to UX design, Sketch, Adobe XD, and Envision for prototyping. Those are really the big three. Again, there are a lot of different tools, but those are the three three main tools that you'll use to create prototypes and create designs. But that's just one side, those are the, the creating tools. On the research side, which is arguably much more important, there are a number of tools. Optimal Workshop, UserTesting.com, Hotjar, those are just three of the tools that are out there. There are many. And like I said before, UX designers will have a broad skill set with a number of tools that they can use. But the one thing that they all share in common is that mindset. And that mindset is about understanding user needs, user problems, real world problems, and, and business goals, merging a whole lot together and, and delivering on the bottom line for the business. That is ultimately the differentiating factor between a UX designer, a UI designer, and a graphic designer. It's that, it's that need to get to the crux of the problem, to understand what a user is struggling with, how you can solve that problem and how you can weave in that business value at the end of it. Validating your solutions through testing, through speaking to actual users, through speaking to stakeholders in the business, those are the key differentiators between UX, UI and graphic design. I hope that I have answered your, your curiosities and I hope that I've inspired you to maybe pursue a a role in UX or maybe in UI or maybe in graphic design whatever it is but until next video hit the subscribe button if you like this one and go forth and be awesome goodbye